Hello, and welcome to the Cameron and Tia Show. Today, I'm coming at you with a solo episode, and this is for all those wannabe wedding photographers out there. If you just started your business, and you know you need to build a portfolio, what do you do? Well, I've got three easy ways for you to do that today. Let's do this! Hi, I'm Cameron. And I'm Tia. We're so excited that you're here. Let's jump right into the video. Number one, the easiest way to build your portfolio is to second shoot. What's second shooting? So a wedding photographer often needs a second shooter, which is the second person who's getting a different angle, a different vibe, a different lens, a different perspective. Often during the day, they might split up too. So the first shooter might be with the bride in the morning while the second shooter is with the groom. A lot of photographers are one person teams, which means they need to hire out for second shooters. Some may hire out regular second shooters, so their second shooters might shoot with them literally all the time, or they might rotate between three, or they might pick up a different second shooter here and there along the way, whatever works well. Local Facebook groups are a great place to find local photographers who are looking for second shooters. In Minneapolis, there are a ton of Facebook groups where people will literally list out their dates and venues that they're looking for second shooters, and then you can submit an application, you can just put your portfolio, put your Instagram up there, and then see if they'll contact you. But there's a much more active way to do that. Find photographers that you love and admire near you and DM them, send them an email, send them your experience, even if it's nothing right now. Be honest, that's okay. Send them your gear list and send them why you want to work for them specifically. Make these super personalized. Obviously, this is basic, like a normal cover letter type thing. Make it personalized, do your research on them, send them why you would be a great fit and how you can help serve them. Photographers are looking for second shooters that do more than just get a second angle. They're looking for second shooters that can help them throughout the day. A wedding day is super rigorous, and so they want people who can help them get water, who can pay attention to the bride, help with her train, help throwing her veil, all of the things that go above and beyond just being an awesome second photographer. Something that you want to be conscious of, though, is that some photographers will allow you to share the work. There may be parameters on that, such as you can't share your work until after they've shared the preview or after they've delivered the gallery. There might also be parameters like you can't tag or contact the bride, groom, the bridesmaids. Totally fine. But some photographers actually won't let you use that as part of your portfolio. Um, so you just want to be upfront and ask about what their parameters are. And then obviously, if they don't allow you to use your images, then this wouldn't be a portfolio building experience. So if you're looking to second shoot just for a portfolio, then you're going to want to find a different photographer. But there is also huge value in just being along with an awesome photographer who you can see how they work the day, you can see how a wedding day flows, you can see what they do to serve their couple and serve their couple's families, and that can be a super valuable learning experience as well. So that's second shooting. By far the easiest, there are the most gigs for second shooting. It's probably easiest to get a second shooting gig, and um, by far the easiest way to build a big portfolio through that. Number two, associate shooting. What associate shooting is, is that some photographers may have created brands that have multiple lead photographers underneath them. So what will happen is a client reaches out and the photographer may deem, hey, this isn't actually a good fit for me, but my associate, Danielle, it's a great fit for. She loves this certain aesthetic or she loves this vibe. Or the client reaches out and the photographer is unfortunately unavailable. They can't do anything about that, but they still want to serve this client in some capacity. So then their associate, Danielle, photographs their wedding. What happens is that Danielle photographs the wedding and then the first photographer that owns the brand does the editing, does all of the communication before and after, um, and so they basically take over all of those aspects. Danielle just shoots the wedding. The great thing about this is that you can work under a super established brand that might have your ideal client at a higher price point, they might be shooting at venues that you couldn't get at your current price point, and all you have to do is shoot. So it's just an obligation on the day of, and then you give up the images to them, they edit them, they deliver. So it's very little work before and after the wedding day, it's just the wedding day. The awesome thing of this is just like second shooting, depending on the photographer's parameters, you can use that for your portfolio. This for building a portfolio is actually even better than second shooting because you are the lead shooter on this day. Whereas second shooting, depending on the photographer's parameters, you might only shoot the groom in the morning. And so you might never be able to build up bridal portrait portfolio or the bride putting her dress on or the bride putting her earrings on, which is pretty critical when you're trying to build a portfolio that spans a whole lot of different types of things on the day of. So 
associate shooting, you're the lead photographer, you literally shoot everything of the day, and it's likely that you'll also have a second photographer that then shoots those groom's portraits and other parts of the day. So this is a really awesome option. I also think this is an awesome option because you can find a photographer that's a mentor to you that really has those ideal clients that you eventually want to have, and you can start shooting them right away because you hop onto their brand, their brand that they've built, that they've really tailored towards this ideal client, that's at the price point of this ideal client, and you can shoot those right away versus if you just keep working on your brand, that might take a few years to work up to. So associate shooting, really awesome opportunity. Um, depending on your area, some people may have associate brands. They may be really rare. They may be really common. Here in Minnesota, they're pretty darn common. I would say 50 to 75% of photographers have associates in one way or another. Maybe they just have one. Maybe they have a team of four that they use for the entire year. Um, so explore. See if they see if photographers mention that on their website. If so, see if there's an application or reach out for an application. That's a really awesome way to build your portfolio. Number three. Three, create styled shoots or sessions. So here's what I mean by this. Say you really want to photograph at a certain venue, but you never get an inquiry for there. That's likely because the brides and grooms that are getting married at that certain venue haven't seen you photograph there, so they don't feel confident in your abilities to photograph there or a certain style that that venue is. So you really need images from that venue. So it's kind of like a circle problem. So here's what you do. You create a wedding styled shoot at that venue. Then you're able to have those images to share, and then people who are getting married there in the future see those images and feel confident that you can capture that style venue and know the exact layout of it, everything like that. Another thing that you can do is if you have a lot of engagement sessions that just aren't dressing up to the standards that you really want, you really want to be able to show images in your Instagram feed or images in your bridal guide that have brides in beautiful flowy dresses on their engagement session or have grooms dressed up a little bit with a tailored pant or with a suit coat, but you just don't get that from your current clients, create up a create a styled session, do a model call, find some friends or friends of friends that are willing to model for a night, tell them what you want them to wear, maybe even lay it out for them, send them a Pinterest board so that they can really come in that exact style, pick a location that's super ideal to you, maybe you haven't shot it at before, maybe you did shoot at it before but your clients weren't wearing something that you loved. Now you're going to have images from both of those things that are super ideal for you, super ideal for your brand, super ideal for your client, you can post those and share those every you are shooting for free. Normally with a wedding styled shoot, you're collaborating with other vendors and everyone's collaborating for access to the images. Um, so it is free. There's a lot of time involved probably with you styling outfits or reaching out to vendors or styling an entire styled shoot. There's definitely time involved, but this is a great way to build up your portfolio. If you're really, really starting out, don't have any idea who your ideal client is yet, it'd be really awesome just to offer five free 20 minute shoots to the first five people that come in on your Instagram. Um, this could be wide open. Again, it's not tailored towards your ideal client, but it's really getting you to understand, hey, I do like working with this type of person. Ah, maybe this type of person isn't a great fit for me. And then you're getting tons of portfolio content just to start you out, to really give you like a bulk start um, with a lot of variety in it. So styled shoots or sessions are a great option. I hope this was a great starting place for you to start thinking about how you can build your portfolio. There are so many options, but I love these three because they can get you some really awesome content and fast track you to the top. If you have any questions, be sure to comment down below. Otherwise, until next time, bye.